hear other noises. My son is out there. Oh, I'm watching. He's having Taco Bell. Superfly and Taco and Bell. My chicken down my hair. The lighting is bad again. I'm pale. Anyway. Pouring down rain outside. And I don't really feel like going outside and doing the chicken pen anyway. I'm so tired today. This ain't feeling that great. So, chicken pen tomorrow on the list. I am so sorry. Oh my goodness. Well, I washed my hair last night. And I just love that shampoo. I'm going to have to get it so I can do a review. Because I just love it. It's, my hair comes out great. Gosh. I need a nap. Just had a grilled cheese sandwich. It was really good. And I'm watching Superfly. She's one of my new subbies I gave. I subbed her. I guess maybe she sent me back. I don't know. Hey, Superfly. Shout out to you. Seen some really good looking burrito. Yeah, man. Seems like a nice lady. Love her hairdo. Um, what else? My trees are driving me crazy today when allergies. Um, oh, so anyway, I'm just kind of sitting here. No me, I'm sassy. Figure out put on my hair. <laughs> Watch this cold, cold lady eat some uh, nice looking tacos. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Looks good. She got some kind of chalupa. Double chalupa? I don't know. I'm about that big. It looks really good. Her hair, I mean. Can you eat over here? Anyway. Yeah. Yep, but just here. Oh, yes, anyway. I love the shampoo. I think I'm going to go get the bottle. And. It's just. It, it, it makes my hair shiny and soft. Almost can't talk. It's really this awesome. Is so good. <laughs> I think if you all want to sit here, I'll go grab the bottle. You shall see. Really quick. Get back with me. Oh, I just, uh, Yeah, I'm back. We wish I solved this mystery because I've been bragging about this the last two times I used it. It's all purple colored, which I love purple. It's called shiny silver. Ultra conditioning shampoo. Shampooing. And then it goes into some other language. <laughs> Oh, but man, it's really good. Enhances blonde and revitalizes bleach really frosted and blonde tinted hair. So that's a good one there. I got this when I was dumpster driving. It was a full bottle along with about a five or six other bottles of shampoo and stuff. Half of them vegan. This is my one love, the Aussie. I've been using this forever. I like the smell of this. I like the color of the bottle, of course. And it is Aussie Total Miracle, which I needed for my hair was so wet. I mean, so high. My dyslexia. Uh, 7 in 1 conditioner revitalizer. Something. 7 miraculous benefits in every bottle. Yes, I love this one. So anyways, it's raining outside, I've been cleaning house, oops, shoot, scare me, and I just got a bunch of notices and I can't even see what's going on, oh god, oh. so, here's a day, and I'm watching this lady eat some good looking burritos, yum yum, Watched uh, my friend 
Southern Mukbang, Southern Smash, if I ever remember that name right, Southern Smash, Mukbang, uh, ice cream, and some other with a fries at Dairy Queen. That's pretty good. Uh, and I'm just sitting here watching this lady talk about her day, eating a burrito, doing the Mukbang. Watching the Mukbang, doing the ASMR, I guess. A little bit of hair. Care review. Oh, oh, and a big burp, excuse me. So I got pretty long hair. It goes down to my waist. Just, yeah, pretty much down to my waist. But, oh, it gets all itchy. If I keep it up all day long, it gets uh, very itchy, very aggravating. But it's he looking pretty good today. I to definitely needed a wash. And it's natural cur <coughs> naturally curling. And I got chap lips from hell. So if you see me going like that, that's because my lips are so chap. And outside a lot. But yes. <laughs> so this is the second time in this week I've washed my hair. Oh, uh, here comes the rain again. And it is pouring cats and dogs outside. But, just, this is all of it. Makes me look like a lion. <laughs> uh, twisted sister. Anyway, been growing my hair for a long time. <sighs> Last time I cut it, my roommate cut it for me and just cut off the ends. Kind of had the bangs done in quite a while. Kind of getting long. Oh no, last time I cut it, I did it myself. I just did my bangs because it was driving me crazy. When I used to shoot pull, I used to keep them short. But I think I'm just going to let them grow out now. And do whatever. So... Y'all think I should cut it? I ain't cut my hair. <laughs> I ain't cut my hair. No hair, no hair. I like my hair. I'm glad I have it. Oh, my friend Wendy that, that uh, stays in my on the back part of the farm is an awesome person. I really love her a lot. She's a good person. Her boyfriend. Her husband. I don't know why. Her boyfriend. Uh, also, uh, is a nice person. But she's making um, wigs. Not all hair wigs, but head and hair, braided, different things, kind of for little kids with cancer. And I think that's just an awesome idea. So I want to do a good shout out, positive shout out to my friend Wendy. She doesn't have a YouTube page that I know of, but she's a good person. That's good stuff. Last year, him and her and her husband uh, donated, collected a bunch of bicycles. Took their own time to repaint them, put new tires on them. I mean, some of these bicycles were really awesome. Hand painted with the Hulk, the Hulk on it, and in green. And man, the kids just, the pictures of the kids were awesome. They really, really, really loved it. So, do something good for people, and it really does good things for other people. So, anyway, I get tongue tied sometimes. I don't know if it was open my bird. She started to make some funny noise. Bird! <laughs> what are you doing? Why is my big bird? <laughs> what? What are you doing, Fred? Hello. This is a pretty bird. She probably won't talk about putting on camera. But she's a cool bird. Oh, my dog's in here. She's scared. I know, it's raining. I know, I'm going to go out scared. But it'll be all right. I'm glad you're not outside. Yeah. Look at this day in here. I'm another dog. She's a good girl. She surely don't like the rain. Let's see if I can show you in there. Oh, really? No, no, no. Where you at? Where you at, man? There's my little girl. There's my old man. Yeah. 
He needs more saving, but there's no Lily. She's afraid of the rain. Say hi, Lily, now. Hey, Wes. Back up there you go. That's a good girl. It'll be all right, girl. It'll be all right. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I need some sweet tea. I wonder if she's drinking sweet tea. That's aspirin. So anyway, do a positive shout out to one of your friends that are not on YouTube. Would be a good idea today. And I'm going to do a question of the week. Last week it was, what would you do if you had a million dollars? That was a pretty good question. It has good answers. A lot of people had good answers. What would I do if I had a million dollars? I'll get everybody in my family a hundred million, hundred thousand dollars. Everybody in my family. Plus, a few people that I know that are good friends. I know, one of them is Lori. Her name is Lori. She's a good friend. She's a good person. She has a brother she takes care of and her mother. And then there's um, my friend Ann. Oh, commercial coming on. I don't want to do commercial. All I can tell straight away. Fine. Her video was over when the commercial came on. So, um, my friend Ann, she's helped so many people in the mortgage market save their homes and help defeat the mortgage companies. Yeah, Ann. So she's a good shout out, friend. Uh, what else would I do? Um, oh, I would pay off the things I need to pay off here. Refence my whole farm so they have safe fencing because the fencing here really sucks. I build myself a tiny house two-story little tiny shit house and um, help people in need and do good things with it. I try to set up a community garden that would be nice. I'd do, I definitely would do that. That's one of the things I do on my list. Local community garden. Buy a big piece of land right there in town. A couple little pieces so I can put up little local ones for the people who can't get as far. The older people. There's a lot of older people in our little town so and if y'all think about uh, us living in a food desert, we definitely do live in a food desert. Um, if Walmart was to close down, what would you do? Y'all will need to be repaired, prepared as much as you can. So preparing for not so great times could be a possibility. And I think something that you need to do. Anyways, I think my little doggy wants out. But it's still raining, so I don't think she's going to want to go. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. And y'all have an awesome day. And uh, this is, uh, what is this again? So this is my review on this shampoo. And it is called Shiny Silver. Shiny Silver. One and only. I guess maybe that's the brand. Yeah, one and only. Or Illinois. Made in the USA. And foreign components. I really like it. I'm probably going to buy some more if I can. I really like this. But I have a lot of shampoo right now because I got a lot when I went hunting. Dumpster diamond. One of my things. Dumpster diving. Save money. Give my animals some fresh vegetables. They love it. I love it. I love having fresh vegetables. Fresh vegetables. I kind of mumble sometimes, so if I say something twice, that's why. I'm not sure y'all got it the first time. But anyways, peace, love, happiness. Thumbs up to everybody's videos. And we'll talk at you in a little bit.